Hey, excuse me, miss. I have a question can, that you can answer. Mm -hmm. Why is it so impossible to make friends after 40? Well, as you can see, I'm just coming on from here. Did you know that three in five adults report feeling lonely? That's right. It's even more challenging for women over 40. Welcome to our Welcome video. Welcome to the Daughters of Sheba Foundation. And today we're talking about why making friends after 40 seems impossible. As women over 40, making new friends seems highly impossible. I'm Claudette, and today we're diving into this common struggle. Uh. Let's explore why forming friendships becomes mm, a bit more challenging, tougher as we age. But don't worry, we'll also discuss how it's not entirely out of reach. So stick around. Making friends after 40. It sounds simple, but many find it daunting. Why is that? Life changes a lot as we enter our fourth decade. Our priorities shift, our schedules get busier, and our social circles often shrink. Colleen knows this well. Let's listen to her response to the question, why is it so impossible to make friends after 40? Hey, excuse me, miss. I have a question can, that you can answer. Why is it so impossible to make friends after 40? Well, as you can see, I'm just coming home from work and I'm exhausted, very exhausted. I don't have time for friends. Right now, I have to go make my husband's dinner, you see? And I, I just get in the groceries. I have time for that, friends, you see? Friends push at the bottom of the list. I have other errands to run. So, you know, I really don't have the time. I try, but I don't have the time. So I end up shifting my priorities. And my priorities is family right now at this age. Now let's break down some of the common challenges women over 40 face when trying to make new friends. First up, time constraints. Well, life changes a lot as we enter our fourth decade. Between work, family, and other responsibilities, Finding time for socializing can feel impossible. Remember when you could spontaneously meet up with friends? Now it takes weeks of planning just to grab a coffee. Next, let's talk about social changes. Many women over 40 have established friend groups. Breaking into these circles can feel like trying to join a club that's not accepting new members. It's not that they're unwelcoming, it's just that their social needs are already met. Now here's a touchy subject, female rivalry. Some time ago we featured an author, Danielle Bayer Jackson, who wrote a book titled Fighting for Our Friendships, and one of the areas she touched on that relates to why you as women over 40 find it impossible to make friends. She spoke about the three affinities of female friendships. Watch this clip and then we will talk some more about that touchy subject, female rivalry. In conflict. And I want to show you this framework, which is called the three affinities of female friendship. If women in a platonic relationship are having tension, it's likely because somebody perceives a violation in one of these three areas symmetry, support, and secrecy. And without going into all of it, let's talk about this young lady's specific experience. She says she was with a friend group who got upset because she violated these two principles symmetry and secrecy. For symmetry, she says that they were upset because she didn't put them in the same hierarchy that they did for her, and they were bothered by that. On the surface, it seems petty, right? Women get a reputation for being petty, and who cares about that next drama? But no, it's because we value and prioritize certain things. For women, reciprocity is of the utmost importance, and that includes mutual prioritization. I mean, I feel like if, I'm, if you're my number one, I'm your number one. So the fact that that's off balance and growing up to symmetry is probably going to be a point of tension. This young lady also says in her example that they are upset because, well, women really value secrecy or being in this tight, mutually exclusive vault where we engage in sharing with you. she's doing that people outside of their vault. As women age, there can be a tendency to compare ourselves to others. This comparison game can create barriers to forming genuine connections. It's important to recognize this and actively work against it. But it's not just external factors at play. There are psychological hurdles too. Fear of rejection becomes more intense as we age. We worry about being judged or not fitting in. 
This fear can paralyze us, preventing us from reaching out to potential new friends. Colleen offers her perspective on these fears that some women over 40 have that make it feel impossible to make friends after 40. Another thing is fear. Sometimes they might be afraid that nobody wants them as a friend. You know, when they were young, they used to have a lot of friends at school. They have a lot of people around them and they have choices. You know, you're young, you look fresh, you look nice. You get old now, you, 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 you don't have the time anymore you, because your time is now spent with family and, and your spouse. So you realize that friendship time dwindle and eventually you might not have that friend anymore because everybody does, it just falls apart. So at this age now, you're probably fearful of getting back into the friendship pool because you know you, you don't think you're that popular anymore. So you, 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 you shy away from it thinking that, you know, maybe nobody wants to be your friend. So you end up sticking to what you're comfortable with. And, uh, you know, that can be a, a problem. You won't get new friends that way. You know, most times it's after you retire um, or the kids leave home and you become an empty nester or maybe your spouse passed away and or probably divorce happens that you start seeking out others to fill the gap. You start finding more time on your hand and boredom probably set in. So you decide to maybe join a club or you know an online group to meet new people. Or maybe as we get older, our bodies just change and symptoms start to pop up. So we try to find people who share similar, you know. Our priorities also change dramatically after 40. We might be focused on career advancement, raising children, or caring for aging parents. These responsibilities can make friendship feel like a luxury we can't afford. However, here's a key insight. Self-improvement can enhance our ability to form relationships. As we work on ourselves, we become more confident and self-aware. This self-assurance can make us more approachable and better at connecting with others. Recently, Claudette and Gloria did a Saturday morning live conversation on self-improvement and personal development, and this came up. How improving ourselves enhances our relationships. Have a watch. Learn how to deal with it is, is another thing. Now, another benefit of self-improvement and personal development is our relationships get better. Um, yeah. It, yeah. It, you, once you start working on yourself, um, your personal mm -hmm. development fosters better communication with people. You become more empathetic. <laughs> you can conflict you can do conflict resolution better so like for example in our in our organization gloria is a calm one i am the chatter the hothead the the, the, the whatever you know and like she she sent to me i didn't realize that she was at the beach this is why i got this message this morning at three o'clock um what time is it again and i'm like gloria <laughs> you know <laughs> and that's what she did and that's what she did. She just laughed. She just laughed. She just laughed at me because I am the. And you're, you're gonna direct. Me. Now let's talk about a crucial element in friendship: vulnerability. Scary to open up, especially as we get older. However, being vulnerable is essential for deep connections. Sharing our true selves, including our fears and insecurities, can create strong bonds. Let's watch this short story we produced a couple of months ago about vulnerability and the strength of friendship to overcome this, especially among women over 40. One day, two friends were walking through the desert. They had an argument along the way, and one friend slapped the other in the face. The one who got slapped was hurt, but without saying anything, wrote in the sand, Today, my best friend slapped me in the face. They kept walking until they found an oasis where they decided to bathe. The one who had been slapped got stuck in the mire and started drowning, but the friend saved her. After she recovered from the near drowning, she wrote on a stone, Today, my best friend saved my life. The friend who had slapped and saved her best friend asked her, After I hurt you, you wrote in the sand, and now you write on a stone. Why? The other friend replied, When someone hurts us, 
We should write it down in sand where winds of forgiveness can erase it away. But when someone does something good for us, we must engrave it in stone where no wind can ever erase it. So is making friends after 40 truly impossible? No, but it does require effort and a shift in perspective. We need to prioritize social connections, even when life gets busy. We must be willing to step out of our comfort zones and take risks. Remember, quality matters more than quantity. Focus on forming a few meaningful friendships rather than trying to build a large social circle. Look for shared interests and values, not just shared life stages. Consider joining clubs or groups related to your hobbies. Volunteer for causes you care about. These activities can connect you with like-minded individuals. Don't underestimate the power of technology. Apps and social media can help you find and connect with potential friends. Just remember to take these connections offline when possible. Lastly, be patient with yourself in the process. Building friendships takes time at any age. It might feel awkward or uncomfortable at first, but that's normal. Over 40. Making new friends might not be impossible as you saw, but it does present unique challenges. By understanding these obstacles and actively working to overcome them, you can form meaningful connections at any age, really. I have formed one or two recent. Have you faced similar challenges in making friends as an adult? Share your experience in the comments below. And if you found this conversation helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Relationship tips for women over 40. Check out our next video. And thanks for watching. And remember, true friendship filled with love and trust is the best gift you can give yourself or offer.